All right, Golden Nugget, Las Vegas. Uh, I am back and I'm starting my trip at one of the most iconic hotels in Las Vegas and one of the most popular hotels in Las Vegas. This place is a fan favorite mainly because of the gambling, the restaurants, and the pool. I'm excited to be here. Let's check this place out. This is the Golden Nugget, Las Vegas. Las Vegas, I'm back, and I'm back in a big way. 30 days, that's right, 30 days and nine different hotels. This is going to be my biggest and baddest Las Vegas trip ever. I'm at hotel number one, this is the Golden Nugget. This place is a Las Vegas staple and a Las Vegas icon. Uh, I am so excited to be here. I'm off to dinner right now, I'm jumping right into this video. I'm going to the number one place to eat on site. It's called Vic and Anthony's, it's their steakhouse. And they are claiming that this steakhouse is a top 10 steakhouse. Not just in Vegas, but in America. All right, good morning, big day today, huge day. I'm headed down to the pool right now. Um, I walked by the pool when I checked in yesterday and not only did it look super cool, it was hopping. So I'm really excited to check it out right now. Uh, before I get down there, very, very quickly, I need to address Vic and Anthony from last night. Is it a top 10 steakhouse in America? Um, it could be. I had a pretty epic dinner. It was a $300 solo dinner. There was a $75 Golden Negroni. I had a ribeye with Texas candy on it. There was some A5 Wagyu Carpaccio. Uh, the shrimp cocktail had this amazing atomic sauce. Um, the place was vintage Vegas, old school Vegas, very dark, uh, lots of memorabilia on the walls. It was overall a really great experience. I'm gonna make a dedicated video on the entire experience. So if you wanna know what it's like, check it out. But yeah, it was, it was pretty great. The Golden Nugget Pool was a lot of fun. I really enjoyed my time out there this afternoon. Uh, obviously the showstopper and the talk of the property is the aquarium that's out there and the pool horseshoes around that. Uh, but there's also a water slide. There are table games. Uh, there's obviously a bar out there and the crowd. The crowd is fun, lively, energetic, casual, approachable. It was just a marvelous way to spend an afternoon. All right, I'm off to dinner right now. I'm going to the second best restaurant on site. I got my blue on, and that's because I'm going to Chart House. All right, day number three at Golden Nugget. Chart House last night was unbelievable. If you were to tell me that Chart House is the best restaurant on site, I wouldn't disagree. Golden Nugget has two exquisite restaurants with both Vic and Anthony's and Chart House. The aquarium at Chart House is a showstopper. It's almost just unreal. Uh, it takes up the entire backdrop of the bar. 
making the bar one of the coolest places to eat and drink in all of Vegas. My favorite dish of the night was the shrimp mango avocado stack. It was so good. I wanted to order three or four, but I worked my way around the menu. What I did order two of is the tableside torched apple Manhattan. That thing was just pure deliciousness. As of right now, it's day number three. I'm feeling kind of lucky today. Let's go play some slots. All right, so this is one of the weirdest high stakes slot sessions I've ever had. Uh, there is a high stakes slot room here at the Golden Nugget. It really isn't labeled uh, a high stakes slot room and nor is it really expansive, but there is a separated area with some high limit slots. I found a machine that was speaking to me. I went to it right away. You know I love my diamond machines, my black diamond machines, my double diamonds, my triple diamonds, and I found a machine in this room that I've won on multiple times in the past the pink diamond machine. It was a no brainer, I walked right up to it, I put $100 in, typically I put in around 50, but this is the most heroic Vegas trip ever, so I wanna take things to the next level. Typically my slot sessions last no longer than 45 or 60 seconds, that's pretty much par for the course when you're playing $5 a pull. This session, however, went on forever. The machine would literally not let me walk away, it didn't want to pay me anything, but it also didn't want to let me leave. I got down to a handful of credits, and then almost instantly I was up to around 45 credits, a little over $200. Now my rule is I can't cash out unless I'm up triple my stake. And because I was only up double my stake, I continue to feed it. I get down to around under 20, and it bumps me back up to $200 again. Clearly the universe is telling me to cash out, take your $100 and run, but of course I ignore it. All right, so what I'm about to describe happened for the next 15 minutes. Anytime I'd get below 20, it put me back up to 30. Anytime I'd get below 10, it bumped me back up to 20. Anytime I'd get down to one of my last few credits, it would bump me up to 10 or 15. This machine would not let me leave, but nor would it want to pay me. Ultimately, 17 minutes later, the machine finally decided to stop playing with me and stop paying me, and I was pretty excited about that. I don't really have the attention span for slots. Typically, I play for a minute or two, and that's that. And honestly, I was getting exhausted because I'm old school, and I like to pull the slot arm. 10 minutes in, I just couldn't do it anymore. I had to start pushing the button. I have never had a high limit slot session that long, especially for only putting in a $100 bill. All right, night number three here at the Golden Nugget. It's my last night. My trip is kind of winding down. Uh, I need to give you a little bit of a very condensed update because I did a lot of little things over the last 24 hours that I think you're gonna be interested in. Uh, first of all, last night I forgot about this. After dinner, I went into Rush Lounge. Um, I would definitely say that Rush is the coolest place to get a drink here at the Golden Nugget. It's right off the casino floor and it kind of reminds me of like an elegant tavern. It's really cool and dark. It has some reds and there's some classic cocktails in there. I went in there after dinner and it was actually quite quiet. Startlingly quiet for a Saturday night, but it really didn't bother me at all. It was just a really cool, dark, fun place to get a classic cocktail. This morning I got up and I went to the gym. The gym is over in the spa tower. Um, it's what you would expect from a Golden Nugget gym. It's kind of small, it kind of has a boutique feel. Uh, it has two separate rooms. It has a cardio room and it has a weightlifting room. I hung out in the weightlifting room and I had the entire place to myself. So before this trip started, I laid out some goals for myself and one hardline goal I had was to only eat one meal a day. Uh, lo and behold, my third day in, I broke that rule already. I was just so hungry after the gym, I had to get something. So I strolled over to the grill. It's again right off the casino floor and it's like a counter style, uh, grab and go type grill and deli. I grabbed a couple simple options. I had a beef quesadilla and also some chicken wings. Uh, the food was fresh and it came out pretty immediately. So I had a gym session and then I had some food. You know what that spells for me? That spells N-A-P, nap. I came back up to my room, I got situated and then housekeeping knocked on my door. I wanted to vacate the room to let her do her thing, so I strolled back down to the main level, and I just posted up at Ice Bar. Ice Bar is the lobby bar. It's right across from reception. Um, it's kind of like a vodka martini bar, although they did have some other type of spirits there. What I really liked about it is that it was on the opposite side of the pool. So while you're sipping on your martini, you can keep your eye on all of the pool action. I thought that was pretty cool. And that leads me to right now, it's my third and final night here. Um, I'm really not sure what I'm going to be doing, and that is weird for me. I typically always have a direction, I always have a plan, uh, but in this instance, I'm really not sure. I'm just gonna stroll downstairs and see what happens.
night I did something that I rarely do. I went off campus. Uh, I always try to stay on campus as much as possible to unlock and unleash everything the property has to offer. But I was just feeling like going over to Circa and getting up to Legacy Club, which is absolutely the best bar lounge downtown and one of the best bars and lounges in all of Las Vegas. Uh, I went up there and I wanted to see what it was like during the daylight and it was stunning, just as it is at nighttime. I had one drink that was a work of art, it's called The Botanist, and I had a couple other classics as well. Uh, after I worked up an appetite at Legacy Club, I came back to the Golden Nugget, and I just ate at Cadillac. It is like a Mexican tequila bar and restaurant, and I just had a Modelo and a Queso Fundido to end the night. All right, so my time at the Golden Nugget is ending. Really three things stand out about this property. Uh, the value, the restaurants, and then the history and the energy of this place. Uh, first of all, the value. Uh, this is one of the most iconic hotels in Las Vegas. This is one of the most popular hotels in Las Vegas. And even though this property is old and has a lot of history to it, I found rooms to be spacious, fairly modern, again, considering its age, and also quite affordable. Uh, number two, the restaurants. This one was the one I was most surprised with. Again, considering the age of the property, I really didn't know what to expect. I knew there were one or two great restaurants on site, and believe me, they were great. Borderline unbelievable. I do think Vic and Anthony's is definitely a top five steakhouse in Las Vegas. But other than that, they had Chart House, which was unreal. And then they had some approachable places like the Cadillac. Uh, there was an Italian pizza place. And of course, they had some grab-and-go stuff like Chick-fil-A and The Grill. And lastly, the history and the energy of this place. Uh, this is a Vegas icon. It's a Vegas institution. It is one of the most famous hotels in Las Vegas, and therefore it is one of the most popular hotels in Las Vegas. If you are looking for a downtown hotel that is deep rooted in history and heritage, that also has a fun and buzzing crowd, downtown it gets no better than the Golden Nugget. I would just say a couple drawbacks depending on what your perspective is. Uh, this place is buzzing, it is busy, it is insanely popular, and due to the layout and kind of the old school design of this place, it can feel a little overpopulated and a little claustrophobic at times. Also to kind of build on that, I thought the casino layout was a little disjointed. Again, considering the age of the property and the history of the property, I get it. They probably didn't design it for these modern times, but the casino just didn't have great feng shui. It didn't have a lot of good flow. If you like open lines of sight and be able to kind of see different points and areas in the casino floor, uh, the Golden Nugget may leave you a little frustrated. This place definitely grew on me night after night, and if I'm gonna rate this property, I'm gonna give it a 2.5, which is a very strong score for me, especially for a property like this. Again, it's value, it's restaurants, and it's energy, and it's history. Downtown, it's almost unbeatable. If you are coming to Las Vegas and you want that quintessential downtown experience, you wanna stay at a place that has a lot of history, that's affordable, that's fun, great crowd, good pool, and awesome restaurants, you absolutely need to come to the Golden Nugget.